Hello, my name is Dennis Schaefer at SNS Cycle. You've probably heard someone use the expression, it's all Greek to me. This somewhat odd saying grew out of the fact that in the past, a language like Greek was known by few people. The common man had little need to learn to read or speak the language. Today, it's meant as a humorous expression and is often used when describing things or situations that people don't understand. The phrase, it's all Greek to me, can be true in the motorcycle world when you look at the numbers and letters that have been placed on your crankcase. This seemingly jumbled collection of numbers and letters looks like something a child put together. So why are these so important and what does it mean to you when the bike comes into your dealership for service? In this video, we will take a look at SNS's identification stampings for engine assemblies, crankcase sets, and complete flywheel assemblies. Crankcases and flywheels are both marked using a process called pin stamping. Here is a crankcase being pin stamped on our assembly line at our Viola, Wisconsin facility. A couple of special things to note about crankcase serial numbers as we begin. The asterisks that bracket the serial number protect it from being altered. SNS engine codes change with their fiscal year at the end of September, not the calendar year. And there are some letter characters that we don't use because they look too much like numbers or other letters. These include I, O, Q, and V. A large number of calls come into our technical and customer service department from owners who are unsure if the engine is an SNS engine built at our factory in Viola or a combination of individually purchased parts used to fabricate an engine elsewhere. Many incoming calls are from new owners who want to verify the size of the engine. Calling for information with the engine, crankcase, and or flywheel serial numbers will really help give us the opportunity to pinpoint all the key details including build information, displacement, bore and stroke, model year, and any service history. The process of identifying engines or individual components is not as uniform and the sequences vary from one manufacturer to another. On SNS engines, the engine serial number is located on both the left and right crankcase heads. This is a typical example of a crankcase serial number. The first character is a letter, and it designates the year of the engine. Here are some examples of the sequence of letter codes used over the years. A complete listing can be found in our current catalog. The next character, the second one, is also a letter, and it identifies the style of crankcase being used. Characters three through seven are numbers, this is the sequential number of engines and crankcases built with this particular style. Looking again at our example, style code tells us that this is a 4-inch bore special applications crankcase. The build sequence code tells us that it was the 251st crankcase and or engine of that type built in fiscal year 2011. Finally, the flywheel diameter code. In our example, the eighth and final character can again be a letter or no stamping at all. This final character identifies the diameter of the flywheel. Our example code is X. The engine has the smaller eight and one quarter inch diameter flywheels inside. That pretty much covers our discussion of the engine crankcase numbering. Remember that the information we've covered in this video and the code identification charts are in the current catalog for future reference. Let's move inside the engine and turn our attention to the coding found on SNS flywheel assemblies. SNS places the flywheel serial number on both the left and right halves. It is located in a position where it will not be removed during the machining and balancing of the flywheel halves faces. Servicing tip, on Evolution and earlier engines, the flywheel code can be seen through the timing hole and disassembly is not necessary to view the serial number. The code may look like Greek because it will be upside down when viewed through the timing hole. Just like the engine or crankcase, the flywheel serial code is a mix of letter and numbered characters. 
The first sequence is called the serial number. From the sequence, SNS can determine when the flywheels were made, when and to whom they were sold, also how the flywheels were originally balanced. An important note, however, you must contact SNS with the serial code for this information. It is not found in any publication. The next character is a number, and it will tell you the length of the stroke that this flywheel set was built with. SNS builds flywheels with many different stroke lengths, and this is to meet the wide range of performance demands from our customers. There are too many to list here, but the charts found in the catalog will permit you to pinpoint which stroke length the engine has. The next two character stampings are letters. These identify the year grouping. This chart illustrates the many year codes used for the various motorcycle groupings over the years. Remember the engine code that identified the flywheel diameter? That same code is used again as the final character to identify the flywheel's diameter. So I hope we've given you some insight into deciphering the SNS system of coding and identifying powertrain components. It may help you to identify a customer's vehicle, order the correct parts for his or her engine, or even correctly identify the type and age of parts present when restoring a vintage vehicle. That's it for now. We'll see you on the road.